Hi there everyone, um, this is my first video tutorial and I thought I'd give it a go. I love watching YouTube. Uh, I never thought I'd make YouTube videos, but I'm just going to give it a go and see how, how it goes. Um, a lot of people ask about my process or if I will make videos. Um, you know, I do traditional scrapping and project life. I love both, depending on my mood, um, but my album is combined. So I just want to really show you, keep today quite simple and show you how I um, actually start my process rather than perhaps completing a whole layout. But what I start with is the white background. Um, I've cut two 12 by 12 sheets and repurposed those by ruling them up as per an A style Becky Higgins protector. And I generally this year have been working off A. Um, I used to just combine everything and it, it gets quite complicated. So generally, unless it's a special occasion or I need for the photos something different, I go with A and then I get the photos to work for me. Now, I do print my own photos at home. I have a Picture Mate printer, which I got last year and I love. Probably one of the best investments ever. And it allows me to print, you know, most of my photos I print in 3x4 format um, and then print to per sheet or sometimes you'll see me even get four on a, on a sheet or six depending on what, what it's about or whether you need lots of photos on the one event if it's something really special of course then I'll print a four by six so not to say these aren't special just that it's really to me project life is a snapshot of the week so this is what I start with um, I do print my photos probably every few weeks and I when I print them I print and cut them up or crop them sort of in half if they're on a four by six and put them straight in a protector in an album ready to go that is in chronological order as best as possible so that when um, I go to scrap I go oh well, I'll scrap this particular week which is I think a week I think it's a week from the start of March I'll have to check my um, album but I'll go oh I'll scrap that week so it's February March anyway so um, I'll decide I'm going to scrap this today and I'll either decide that I really want to use a particular product and try and look for photos of a week that will match it or go, oh, I'd like to scrap these photos and then grab some product either way. Now, what I've done today, I'm going to show you my container. So I've cut all the photos I've said, um, trimmed them down, cut off any excess edges and sort of placed them what is, to me, pleasing to my eye. I generally keep this square here free for the title and sometimes this one too, but depends on... What I'm doing and of course keep like photos together yeah so what I generally do is I've just um, I use lots of containers I have all my things stored in containers um, everywhere but what I tend to do when I'm doing a layout is I'll pick a collection um, and today I'm using something from Kaiser Craft um, Captured Moments cards let it shine and they're blacks whites greys and yellows um, really fun cards and then I'll just pretty much go through my stash and pick out um, my newer embellishments I just have keep them in their packs and things that I've already used I'll start to sort through to colors but I go through and pick out things that I might want to use that will be in the same coordinating colors would so be stickers labels some bling um, I've been on gold overload but because um, I don't really think I think silver's gonna go better with this lot so I picked out some silver stuff a bit of chipboard a bit of washi tape some flares some clips and some of this was left in from my previous um, spread, so some of it won't get used. But you can see some uh, good. These last few things are from my last layout. And some cork as well. And then I have another container, which I've actually gone through and picked out some embellishment and animal dots. Just gone through my drawers and gone, oh, that's good. That From that collection, that'll look really good. So, again, I may not use all of it. I may use some of it, but I have it to hand. So, it doesn't mean that when I'm doing a layout that I won't pick up extra things or won't go oh, I really need that and get it because I will but this just enables me to um, really have a good start I think I think people we tend to strappers we're all hoarders and we're all um, <laughs> enablers of buying product um, I love having all the new product um, don't get me wrong but I think that it can be overwhelming to, to scrap from an entire stash and I think it's a really good idea to limit um, what you have access to when you um, are actually going through your process and that way you find you'll get it done a lot more effectively so i'm just going through the cards i'll start always start with the four by sixes i really love that hello card so i might even make that the title card just go through and have a look and i'm hoping this is in focus for you because it's really hard to 
see. Now, when there are cards for that, uh, this orientation um, portrait, I love them, but I don't generally, as I said, scrap that way. So I'll do, um, depending if I don't like, if I wasn't really keen on the quote or something, I would use it as a background um, as such and put the photo over that and layer it. But I do like the quote, so I'll keep it and I'll probably cut it down at another time um, for another layout um, and it will fit on top of it if you turn it around. It's a good general one. And I try and keep the balance going around with the black, white and grey and yellow where, you know, I just, I just want to be a balance. really love that card, but it's not going to work on this layout. I love that just to be happy. No, that yellow is really nice too. That notes would be good there too, so we'll see how we go with that one. Love, love, love this chevron one. Actually, I might pop that under that one there. It's quite busy, but it's very cool. So what I'm saying about the yellow, um, I don't, want, I want the yellow in the lap, but I want it predominantly black, white, and grey, and with some yellow. So I wouldn't have a yellow card say there and there or here and here, um, because it is a double spread. And they will sit next to each other. I tend to spread them out a bit. And of course, because you get less of the 4 by 6s I've been through them all already. So I'll probably pop this grey one in here. And I'm alright with the word going if it needs to. The other way, it's not that wouldn't stress me out. Just as that wouldn't stress me out to put that banner that way. That wouldn't worry me at all. But I do really like that, so we might go with that one. I might put that date one in there. Yeah, that's going to be in a wrong pocket. We can cut that, but we won't do that this time. I'll put these aside for the minute and I'll go through the three by fours. Now, of course, you get three of everything in these packs so I think I've sorted it down to two already so I'll have a look I really like that thankful love 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 this card but as I've got this chevron pattern and that's a quite a busy pattern um, as well I, I'm most likely to put that on that side if that makes sense Sorry, you can't see me sorting them, but I can't do everything in the shop. So, say what? That's really cute. Cool. I like that. Say what? And again, I really love that one too, but then I don't want two together that are going. So, I wouldn't put um, generally two journal box ones like that together. And then I, I could move this photo across, but because it's an outward facing photo, um, as in my son's facing outwards, it's really important to me not to have it at the edge. I don't think that's pleasing to the eye. A lot of people ask me, you know, how I create my pages the way I do, and there's some of the tips that I'm going to um, share with you. Enjoy the little things. Love that. Love this heart too, so I'd like to fit that in somewhere. And this is what I want to show you as well, is that it's okay to use this as a backing card. It doesn't have to be the main feature. Or I could even cut that out and make that an embellishment. So we'll have a look at that. Thankful. We need something. I'll keep that hard out because it's that's a possibility, that one. And this is really one of the reasons why, you know, I didn't sort of pre-plan this layout. And one of the reasons I find it hard to do videos is that, you know, sometimes a process can take longer than you, you think it will or you want it to. Um, and that's part of the fun, but I do really want to, you know, I'm not expert enough to have figured out how to speed up the video and 
or just to, to film it and then to edit it later. Um, I haven't really figured that out yet, so I like that wonderful it's plainer and a bit softer. I really like that too. So there. So we just need something for that top card. And I'd probably want to go yellow. I don't want to cut any of that photo out though. So we'll see if we can squeeze it on there. I don't mind that, but I'm not sure. And I'm also not really sure about this. yellow here, it's quite solid. I might try swapping those two around. Use that to say what, so we can't use that again. Well, you can, but I wouldn't. Somehow use that as a and it probably brightens up that otherwise really dark photo, so that's probably a better option. So at this point I'll just have a closer look and think where I'm going with the colours. I definitely want something behind this because it is otherwise at the moment quite simple. I'll probably trim both the photo and the card down and get that to work. Still really want that heart as I keep getting it again. <laughs> I just don't really want to cut any of that photo out if I can help it. So I need some journaling here. through the I'll stick it up and I'll look at that one earlier. I'm not gonna have the date on it. We'll still get a bit of a story. A little label there I think. I think that will work. We've got a bit of yellow here and a bit of yellow here. I think I'm just gonna swap that and that. I still really struggle with how intense and busy that particular card is, even though I really like it. just find it's a little bit much. So as I say, it's all part of the process of deciding what you want there. I'm absolutely okay with moving stuff around. Gonna be that story, and I'm definitely going to cut that photo just down to a smaller square or rectangle and not have that so busy. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. But as I stick each card down, I don't stress too much about if it's not right and I want to change it, I'll just go back and change it. I did want to show you with the heart as well that I really wanted to keep in there. Just don't have a spot for it. I can find it. Is it's okay to cut that out. So I've got no embellishing. If I don't find the right thing, I will just cut around this um, and stick it on. Let's just have a bit of the black around the edge, so it's not too perfectly cut. So next, I put my embellishment tray over and just go with what I think will work. It's really going to need some yellow on that particular photo. We'll have a look through what's here. Moments, love that. 
I'm going to need some weight probably. This photo looks a bit random of an unmade bed and it's because I made my bed before I went out and I came home to a unmade bed. All my doona and pillows have been pulled back by my dog, Pepper, who is in this photo. Um, and in, although this photo is really dark, um, it's a very bad hair day, her hair's all scrubbed up. So definitely need some yellow in this one here. A bit of a tile on that one. It's too big for that one. I think I'll still get that in there somewhere. I actually found yellow was a really hard colour to, um, I didn't have many in my stash, which I thought was quite funny. It's not something, I don't have a lot of yellow. Love feathers, probably not going to make it on this layout this week. And then I'll have a bit of a, I think a bit of layering behind it on that one. Just some random bits and bobs. I love little um, tag tops. I think they're great at just, it's great to pop onto a photo. Just to add a bit of something. And I'll just have a couple in and in the dots there. I'm not really probably going to finish the page in this video. I just really want to show you how I start, where I where I go with it. And I'm not sure if there's anything else I really want to get in here. What I also tend to do is if I put a wood veneer piece over here. I will have another one, some, some, another one somewhere on the layout. It's really important to have that balance um, throughout the layout. And these cards speak for themselves and they've got quite a few quotes and things on them. So it really won't be a matter of adding a lot of um, a lot else on here. And if all else fails, I do go back to my paper stash or if I have the paper pad for the coordinating range, I will absolutely add some of those things back in. Love, love, love these. They were from my hip kit. But I will cut that and that will work for my journal in there. <laughs> this one's funny because I did ask Dollar Smiles. I probably won't. 
one that doesn't match anyway. Yummy, how appropriate is that? Went through my flares, again didn't have many yellow, but that's going to work there. And when you can find nothing else, the ampersand always works well. Star clip. Love these cool cards. Sorry if that's noisy, just going through. So a bit of my washi will probably make it in as well, just to go in with the taped in little bits, taping some corners, either that or the arrows. Definitely need some yellow up here. I might even get that in there. And a couple enamel dots will always make it that's in these um the bling yeah you know, and things like the label stickers whether it just be a word document to give the layout a bit of balance or um, a blank tag and I'll do some journaling on it definitely a big on um, journaling but I'll fill these spots up first and anything else that doesn't fit sorry to be ruffling through packages I hate it when I listen to videos and hear that so paper clip again where there's something dark you might just sort of something like that but I think I'll leave it there um, that's really want to show you just to how I get to this stage um, and then in other videos my plan will be to do ones where I'm already um, at the stage of sort of having my cards and photos on the page and shown um, as chosen and then I will go through and show you the embellishment process and sticking it down because that's when you can change your mind and so on. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.